Dinosaurs went extinct about 65 million years ago. After dominating our planet for about 165 million years, one of the most dramatic mass extinctions Earth has ever seen. The environment changed and new species evolved that were better suited to survive. And look what the animal kingdom has become. You're not gonna believe the monsters that still roam the planet, swim in our oceans and fly through our skies now. Here are 15 animals that were scarier than dinosaurs. Aspidachalone. According to ancient texts from the 2nd century AD, the Aspalachidone is a sea creature with huge spines on the ridge of its back. The great sea creature raises its back out of the water, where sea sand and vegetation collects until it looks like a small island. The story is the stuff of legend. Sailors were rumored to anchor their ship to the deceptive island, disembark and light a fire. The monster, feeling the heat from the sailor's fire, immediately dives, taking the sailors and their ship down to a watery grave. Sinbad also encountered one on his adventures. Sinbad's crew had lit a cooking fire on a small island when suddenly the island shook and the monster awoke and dived under the surface. There's also another report of one of these creatures from a group of Irish monks on a sea voyage to America they encountered a creature which looked like an island but vanished under the waves of the sea. According to some of the older texts, when this animal was hungry, it opened its mouth and emitted a sweet odor to attract fish. This part of the description suggests that the beast could have been a turtle, but more likely a whale. The people who described it for centuries believe that they saw fearsome beast and a mythical animal. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. These two people on horseback really chose a bad day to play cowboy. It's going to take a lot more than a horse to escape this beast. Question is, what the heck is this thing flying behind them? It can't be a pterodactyl, the common term for the winged reptiles that went extinct around the same time as all the dinosaurs. It can't be a dragon because they don't even exist. It looks like it has the mouth of a snake almost and the wings of a bird. But did you know that's a thing? Sort of. A basilisk is a mythical monster born from a serpent's egg. The terrible offspring that hatches from this egg is half bird, half snake and all evil. It's one of the deadliest creatures to menace the mythological world and is extremely hostile towards mankind. That's if it actually lived and breathed, which it does not. Thank goodness. But if it did, what do you think the chances of these cowboys escaping would be? Use the comments below to let the world know and use the hashtag sweet topic. The American Lion these ancient big cats seem to have been widespread across North America with remains found in Canada, past the Great Lakes to the East Coast, all the way back to the Pacific Coast in California. Atrox, and the lion's scientific name Panthera Leo Atrox, means cruel or frightful in Latin. Standing at almost four feet tall at the shoulder, almost eight feet long, and over 500 pounds, American lions were bigger than modern lions. They had long, slender legs with retractable claws, and they could roar, although it's not certain if American lions had manes or not. Their large size and bulk, sharp teeth and claws and long legs would have made them an apex predator. Today, the American lion is usually treated as a subspecies of the African lion. However, there are a large number of researchers who consider the American lion to be different enough from the African lion to give it its own distinct species. Early studies led it to be considered similar to a jaguar, and in the mid-1990s, it was even considered to be a subspecies of tiger based upon similarities to the skull form. These majestic cats roamed North America about 340,000 to 11,000 years ago. Epicyan, the bone-crushing dogs, possibly the largest prehistoric dog that ever lived. This beast was a true canid, belonging to the same general family as wolves, hyenas, and modern dogs. Epicyan literally means more than a dog, and the largest species of Epicyan weighed in the neighborhood of 200 to 300 pounds, and it possessed unusually powerful jaws and teeth, which made its head look more like that of a big cat than a dog or a wolf. However, paleontologists don't know much about Epicyan's feeding habits. This megafauna mammal may have hunted alone or in packs, and it may even have subsisted exclusively on already dead carcasses like a modern hyena. 
Although it had a skull more like that of a big cat, they were an early ancestor to canines. Epicyan is noted for having an incredibly powerful body. Its unusually shaped skull meant that it had a very short muzzle, something that may have enabled it to more easily crunch bones. It was well adapted for bone crushing with enlarged fourth premolars like some hyenas, and this adaptation would have allowed Epicyan to scavenge as well as hunt, giving it access to the nutritious marrow other contemporary carnivores can't easily feast on. <laughs> ancient Giant Rhino This new species of the ancient giant rhino, along the largest mammals to walk on land, has been discovered in northwestern China. It lived some 26.5 million years ago, weighed 21 tons, the equivalent of four large African elephants. The hornless creature's head could also reach 23 feet to graze treetops making it taller than a giraffe. Scientists said that analysis of the fossils pointed to an entirely new species that was different to other known giant rhinos. A completely preserved skull and jawbone, for example, indicated that the animal had featured a slender skull, as well as a prehensile nose trunk similar to that of a modern taper. The team of scientists also found that the new species was closely related to giant rhinos that once lived in Pakistan which suggested that it had traveled across Central Asia. Two individual giant rhinos were unearthed from Lake Oligocene deposits in China, an area known for its abundance in fossils. The fossils included a skull, mandible, and several spinal vertebrae, enough to help scientists piece together the giant rhino puzzle. The newly discovered giant rhino is the sixth species of hornless rhino found in Asia. The remains may help paleontologists explain the origins of the ancient rhinos, the range across Eurasia, and how they evolved. The Lilstock Monster In 2016, while walking on a beach in Lilstock, England, a study co-researcher and fossil collector found pieces of a jawbone that, when pieced together, measured an astounding 3.1 feet long. About 205 million years ago, this enormous sea monster, so large it was nearly the size of a modern-day blue whale, swam through the ocean, fueling its colossal body by preying on prehistoric squid and fish. But now, thanks to the newfound jawbone finding, Researchers think these bones likely belong to the largest known ichthyosaur ever found, a dolphin-shaped carnivorous marine reptile with a long, toothy snout that lived in the oceans during the age of the dinosaurs. These creatures, marine reptiles resembling modern-day dolphins, went extinct at the end of the dinosaur age around 66 million years ago, and the bones were dated to 205 million years ago, and estimate that in life the ichthyosaur would have been up to 85 feet long, and at their height, they filled many niches, from ambush predator to suction feeder, one of the most successful animals in the ocean. But about 90 million years ago, almost 25 million years before the dinosaurs appeared, the massive fish lizard died out. Arctodus smilus this highly unusual bear skeleton, found in Argentina in 1935, was recently re-examined by paleontologists specializing in South American fossil bears. By measuring Arctodus smilus elephant-sized upper arm bone, they were able to calculate the size of the rest of the bear's body. The animal tipped the scales at up to 3,500 pounds and towered at at least 11 feet standing up. Its skull and teeth revealed that the short-faced bear led a highly carnivorous way of life. The large width of the jaws, plus the huge insertions for biting muscles, this bear had a vice-like killer bite and the ability to crush bones. They probably scavenged and preyed upon large herbivores such as bison, musk oxen, deer, caribou, horses, and ground sloths. Known as the fastest running bear that ever lived, too, the giant short-faced bear was undoubtedly the fastest. They moved a little differently than any bear today. It was about 5 feet at the shoulders when walking and stood as tall as 12 feet on its hind legs. Unlike pigeon-toed bears of today, the short-faced bear's toes pointed straight forward so it could walk fast like a human and could run over 40 miles an hour. Mega Neuropsis Imagine this prehistoric dragonfly with a two-foot wingspan flying past you. However, the largest known insect of all time was a predator resembling a dragonfly but was only distantly related to them. Mega Neuropsis thrived roughly 317 to 247 million years ago and it ruled the skies before pterosaurs, birds, and bats had even evolved. The way oxygen is diffused through the insect's body via its tracheal breathing system puts an upper limit on body size, which prehistoric insects seem to have well exceeded. It was 
originally proposed that this creature was able to fly only because the atmosphere at the time contained more oxygen than the present 20%. Another theory suggests that insects that developed in water before becoming terrestrial as adults grew bigger as a way to protect themselves against the high levels of oxygen. The lack of aerial predators allowed these big bugs to evolve to maximum sizes, perhaps accelerated by an evolutionary arms race for increases in body size. Most popular textbooks make mention of giant dragonflies that lived during the days before the dinosaurs. This is only partly true, for real dragonflies had still not evolved back then. Hell pigs. These large, primitive animals are also known as hell pigs. However, they're not related to modern pigs. Rather, they're closer on the evolutionary tree to hippos and whales. Hell pigs first appeared in Mongolia, then spread across Asia, Europe, and North America. They eventually became extinct between 19 million and 16 million years ago. These were large animals, several times the size of modern pigs, with the skulls reaching near more than three feet long. The dentition suggests that they were effective bone crushers. These surely were fierce, imposing animals, hence the common name hell pig. Even small hell pigs were quite large. The smallest of the hell pigs grew to around 330 pounds, while the largest grew to about 2,000 pounds. Though it would be easy to assume that such a fierce creature with large tusks and imposing body size was carnivorous, the hell's pig teeth says differently. They were omnivores, eating plant life as well as meat. Fruits, leaves, and seeds, as well as other animals and eggs were probably all a part of the hell pig's diet. It may not have been a killer. Some believe that hell pigs may have been scavengers, letting other animals make the kills. Once the prey was dead, the hell pig may have intimidated the predator and taken its prey. The Mega Piranha You wouldn't want to encounter any piranha, small or large, ever, and you can see why. They have razor-sharp teeth and a voracious hunger for meat, plus they tend to swarm and devour prey much larger than themselves, whatever gets in their way. And today, piranhas have even been known to bite off the toes of unwary human beachgoers, although who swims at a beach where piranhas might live? Even worse, they feast in swarms, so you can imagine what a giant piranha could do with a bite like that. A new study shows that Mega Piranha chomped with a force of up to a thousand pounds per square inch, or about 50 times its own body weight. That powerful force allows the piranha to quickly bite whole chunks of flesh from animals as they pass by, so it's no wonder these beasts live on as a popular movie star on many creature feature flicks. The ancient carnivorous mega piranha, yeah, it's probably as bad as it sounds and looks, lived between 6 million and 10 million years ago, and packed a devastating bite with a force that was up to 50 times its weight. Can you imagine a swarm of these ferocious fish? Gigantic Rodent this extinct species of South American rodent is the largest rodent known and lived from about 4 to 2 million years ago. The species may have weighed a ton, an order of magnitude larger than any currently living rodent, and they had an especially powerful bite. At the incisors, the rodent can chomp with a force of 300 pounds. A bite at the molars was an even more powerful 936 pounds. While the researchers stressed that these are maximum values and don't represent a typical bite, they're comparable to those of carnivores like bone-cracking dogs and large crocodiles. Such strong incisors could have been useful for digging through the ground for roots or even defense. If this was the case, the researchers speculate that the giant rodents behaved in an elephant-like manner, using its incisors like tusks. If so, this would only add to the evidence that this was one mammoth rodent. First described by paleontologists in 2008, this giant rodent is only known from a 1.7 foot long skull found in the 4 to 2 million year old rock of Uruguay. That lone cranium was enough to know that the mammal was new to science and the title holder for biggest rodent of all time. The Giant Ground Sloth Meet the Megatherium Americanum, aka the Ground Sloth, and as you know, sloths aren't built for speed. This ground sloth did weigh in at over two tons despite being a gentle herbivore. It was able to stand and walk on its hind legs too. The ground sloth is the largest bipedal mammal of all time. Fossils of this impressive animal have been recovered from about 150 sites across North America. Although it also roamed the grasslands of South America, it dominated the continent's southern grasslands and lightly forested areas and was something of a king of the mammals for thousands of years before a mass extinction event wiped it from the planet. However, almost 12,000 years ago, by the end of the Great Ice Age, evidence shows that the giant ground sloths had become extinct. However, there are people who believe they thrived for thousands of years after that on a remote Caribbean island. 
Scientists are still not entirely sure what accounts for this mass extinction as it does occur simultaneously with the emergence of mankind. This sloth was one of the largest ground mammals ever to have existed. It probably walked most of its life on four legs, but when it stood on its hind legs, the giant ground sloth would have been upwards of 13 feet tall. Predator X This giant creature looked slightly different from other marine reptiles discovered in England and France over the last century and a half. They were huge, weighing up to 40 tons. Over 15 years ago, scientists unearthed two massive skeletons in Norway on a string of islands halfway between Europe and the North Pole. Now, after years of painstaking analysis of the jaw, vertebrae, and forelimbs, the researchers have determined that Predator X is in fact a new species and one that was likely the most terrifying creature in the ocean in its day. Predator X spanned about 40 feet and had a massive six and a half foot long skull with a bite force four times as powerful as Tyrannosaurus Rex. Combined with other fossil finds, the newly discovered behemoth bones of the giant marine reptile paint a picture of an ancient Jurassic era ocean filled with giant predators, the stuff of nightmares indeed. Predator X, aka the Pliosaurus, gives scientists hope that more marine discoveries are out there. Imagine if a reptile this size existed today. The marine reptiles prowled the seas 160 million to 145 million years ago during the Jurassic period. Terror birds. What has feathers, T-Rex-like feet, and a hooked beak? Meet the terror bird. After a meteor wiped out all the dinosaurs, terror bird family rose to occupy the niche of terrifying top predators, a supremacy that lasted for almost 60 million years, and they could be anywhere from 3 to 10 feet tall. And they were mean. All of the species are thought to have been carnivorous. The downwards curve from the tip of the beak suggests that it ripped the flesh from the body of other animals. Scans performed on the skull reveal that they would not have been able to shake its prey side to side, but rather exert significant downward force, basically smashing its prey to death. It was once believed that they became extinct in North America around the time humans arrived. They disappeared only two and a half million years ago. However, reports from Uruguay of new findings of a relatively small terror bird dating to 18,000 and 96,000 years ago would imply that they survived there until very recently. These apex predator birds were originally thought to be endemic to South America alone. A possible European terror bird has also been identified, suggesting that this terror bird had a wider range than originally believed. The Smilodon Extinct for about 10,000 years, this heavily muscled species once hawk smashed its way through South America. To picture a normal Smilodon individual, start with an African lion, then double its size and add giant fangs. They roamed the Americas as far back as 2.5 million years ago and ruled the land till about 10,000 years ago. Humans may have also killed much of the tiger's food supply, but if the saber-toothed tiger were to exist, we can assume their killing abilities aren't limited to size like modern-day cats of today. The apex cats of today can't kill animals that are much bigger in size than they are because they kill by strangling or breaking the necks of their victims. They're believed to have been excellent hunters, taking animals such as sloths, mammoths, and other large prey, but paleontologists believe saber-toothed tigers may have used its signature sabers to slash their prey and then let them bleed out. Then the tiger could step back and wait till it's dinner time. And it's believed that it was humans who finally eradicated the saber-toothed tiger populations. However, there are many factors at work when a species can no longer thrive. We doubt they'd make great pets. However, if scientists get their way, we might actually be able to take saber-toothed tigers for a walk once again thanks to DNA and modern technology. Titanoboa. This enormous serpent of legend thrived in the tropical jungles of South America some 5 million years ago after the extinction of the dinosaurs. The prehistoric species grew up to 50 feet in length and weighed as much as 2,500 pounds. That's as long as a semi-truck and about twice as heavy as a polar bear. At its thickest point, the serpent was 3 feet wide, which is longer than a human arm. Oddly, the Titanoboa looked like a boa constrictor. Some scientists think it killed by constricting and asphyxiating its prey, while others argue that it behaved like an anaconda, sneaking around the shallows and ambushing animals with a powerful blow. The great snake swallowed its giant prey whole. Modern anacondas spend most of their time in or around water, where they hide amid vegetation in the shallows and ambush prey. It's extremely likely that the ancient Titanoboa behaved similarly. This massive king of the jungle was truly spectacular, able to eat any animal that caught its eye, like crocodiles, turtles, fish, and birds. The death of the dinosaurs left a hole at the top of the food chain, and this titan snake filled it properly. There are rumors that snakes like this still exist, but let's hope not. <laughs>